I was in the night? home last night, yeah. Last night? Yep. Kicked, kicked the door into where I was sleeping. And you were there they when were they broke in? They were kind of brutal, yeah. They I thought it was rough, but a man wasn't hurt. They anymore. didn't arrest you? No. Um, they, <clears throat> the people that were uh, told to go outside had shoes, but two of us didn't, didn't know where our shoes were, so we kept, we were kept inside the house. Uh, while, I don't know, they were working on trying to uh, free the five resistors who were locked down. It was heartbreaking. Um, and there was a lot of destruction. I mean, if you go there now and take photos of the rubble and what was disregarded and smashed, it's, it's the place looked nice before they came in, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, posters up and really clean and, and it's, it Why looks it? like a war zone now. I'm so glad that this door is here today to show the violent actions. Yeah, you know that. The violent actions that banks resort to with police powers. There is no excuse to not help a family renegotiate a mortgage that is underwater. approximately 4.10 in the a.m. Uh, with what we believe to be a, a no-knock entry, although a very loud knock in fact, approximately 8 to 10 officers and battering rams. There's a better way to resolve these things. We've, we've treated the Sheriff's Department with nothing but respect, whilst at the same time refusing to move. And, and this is the violence that we receive in Congo. Um, PNC is working with his family to rewrite the loan and keep the family in the loan in the home. And um, while PNC is working with us, we need the sheriffs to not come and kick the family out of the home. Relay the message up front. To who? I don't know if she can hear us. Would you be able to go? No, I told her that they wanted to see the sheriff. And we were just here a week ago. I told you the same thing. Yesterday. 
the other day I left and shortly, 10 minutes after I left, the sheriff showed up and so a lot of us came back and locked down. But what was very interesting is they chose to come in the middle of the afternoon directly at a time when uh, they knew that we were having an anti-stadium rally right here at City Hall. So I think that they expected a lot of us to be here at City Hall instead of at the house. Is protector, and it shows uh, a sheriff's officer with a name badge of friend holding hands with a small child. I'm going to come back every day because this sheriff is not a protector of the people. He is not a friend of the people, and he is not certainly not a friend of the children of this community who live in the homes that this sheriff is is breaking the door down on. Sheriff, I think I think we should continue. We should continue. Yeah, oh, about 4.35, and uh, they were keeping us away from the house. We were having to stand across the street, and it was very heartbreaking. Well, I love it. I love the cleverness of bringing the smash door down here. I love the cleverness of sticking the post-it notes on the sheriff's door. I love the loud chanting and the energy. It's pure occupied bliss. Yeah.